thousands turned out in Pulaski today for the final day of the 33rd annual Polka Day celebration. Yes, the final day featured a parade with more than 100 participants, and one entry struck an emotional chord with the community thanks to the hard work of a few dozen Cub Scouts. Fox 11's Beth Jones was there and has our story. It's been three years since Pulaski Fire Chief Frank Wicklash was tragically killed in an accident at the Pulaski Fire Station, an accident that shook the entire community. But his memory hasn't gone away, and the thousands who watched the Polka Days Parade saw that today, including his son, Randy Wicklash. He's probably looked down and said, that's really nice. It is. Cub Scout Pac 4031 built this 48-foot float in honor of the former fire chief. I think it's cool. Think it's cool? You think the community will like it? Yeah. Pack leaders say talks of a float started back in May, and eventually the idea snowballed into something great. We have a lot of connections within the pack to the volunteer fire um, department in town, and so we want to do a, a fire theme float. And they took that to the next level and decided uh, to do really a memorial float, a tribute to fallen firefighters. Once the float idea was finalized, coordinators say it took about two straight weeks to complete with the help of 30 sets of hands and dozens of sponsors. One of those sponsors, Chief Wicklash's own family. And seeing the finished product on the anniversary of his death brought the family some comfort. You know, three years ago it happened and it's still in everybody's memory and that's nice. It's a nice tribute to Pulaski Polka Days, to the firefighters and everybody else and the family and everything that's involved, so it was nice. In Pulaski, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News. And we'll have more on the music from Polka Days coming up later in the broadcast.